Hey everybody, Nick Safoni here with Real Estate Investor Online. Thanks so much for watching. Today I want to talk about comps, comparable sales, comparable sales analysis, CMAs, whatever you want to call it. And the, the reason that what made me think about it is my daughter who just got married, some of you have seen the pictures and, uh, and, and know that she just got married, um, her and her husband are looking for a house and they're just starting their home search. And I got an email from him yesterday and I guess the, the short of it is a realtor said that if somebody paid $110,000 for the house and put $30,000 worth of upgrades into the house, the house is worth $140,000. And of course, you know, I just rolled my eyes and sent her a pretty long email explaining how, the, in layman's terms, how to figure out what a house is worth. And, and that's down below. So if you're on the website, if you're on YouTube or something like that, it's not gonna, it's not down below. Um, so go to the website and you could read an edited version of the email that I sent her back. Um, it's at realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash comps. realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash comps. And you can see uh, my response to her and how I explained it. So you should go check it out. If, unless, I mean, if you're on the site now, you probably are. It's right down below. And you've probably read it already. So that whole comment is moot. But in any case, um, read it. it. It gives you a good explanation of, really an explanation of how much repairs either do or don't change the value of a house. But what I want to talk today about is comps. Comparable sales analysis, a CMA, it's, it's known by different things. We call it pulling comps, we call it running comps. And really, some people make this so difficult. Some people really confuse how to get comps or what to do with comps or where to get comps. Um, it's a very simple once you've been in this business a while, it'll be really easy. It'll take you 10 minutes and you'll know within a couple thousand bucks how much a house is worth. Um, so first off, why do we need comps? You need comps in our business to figure out how much the value of a house is. How much, so you can make your offers, so you can price it when you're selling it. Of course, there's high comps, there's low comps. So we're gonna, gonna kind of get to the bottom of it a little bit uh, in this quick TGIF. This is actually Friday the 13th in this TGIF 13 um, segment. So first, you got to know how to run good comps in this business. Um, or you're going to make offers that are too high or too low, or you're just going to jip yourself. You're not going to make the money you should need. You should be making on deals. Uh, or you might even get into some deals you shouldn't be even looking at. So you got to learn how to price houses in this business. Um, and what comps are, really the way we price houses in this industry is looking at houses that have recently sold that are very similar houses, similar size, similar amenities, in the same area, same condition. And we tend to use a term called ARV, A-R-V, when we're running our comps. So how much would that house be worth in ARV, ARV, or after repair value? So how much would this house be worth if we went into it and we finished everything, put in new floors, new cabinets, or not really put in new, but made sure it was in like new or selling condition, you know, if we're ready to put the house on the market. So, um, and that way at least we know that we're comparing apples to apples. So even if you're looking at a house and you're trying to price a house that isn't in like new condition, you're gonna run your comps, you're gonna do your homework to figure out how much the house would be worth in like new condition and then you're going to subtract for any work that needs to be done or any modifications or anything like that. So um, there's two different places. People always ask me, Nick, where do I get comps? There's a lot of places online to get comps. You can go to Trulia.com. You can go to Zillow.com. Um, there's a whole bunch of sites. Now, one thing I got to point out is don't go to Zillow or Trulia or Houses.com or Realtor.com or wherever you're going to go. Some of these sites, they'll show an aerial view of the houses, right? And they'll have all the little houses, house, 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 house. And they'll have numbers on top of the house. It'll say 140,000, 150,000, 145,000. Those are so far, they're not even guesstimates. I don't know why they do it. Um, sometimes they get lucky and they're right, but they could be 50,000 bucks too high. They could be 50,000 bucks too low. So don't use that to get your values. But you can use these sites to get your values. Find somewhere on the site that says recently sold homes. That's what you're looking for. Now I use a paid site. Um, and it, the link, There's a link down below and if you put in that little code down there you'll get a special price 
uh, you'll get a special. I think you get the first month free or the first two months at half price or something like that. Um, it's just a bonus code. But we use investor comps online. And I said, again, the link is down below if you're on our website. Um, and we, we like the paid site because it gives us a it, first off, we just log in, put in the address, it gives us a long list of houses that have already sold. Uh, that are very close to the subject property. So it makes it really easy to do. Secondly, it tells us the, who's owned the house in the past. It tells, us, it tells us when it sold in the past. It told us how much it sold for. It tells us um, how much of a loan is on the property, how much they owe. It just gives us a lot more information than the free sites. But you can use the free sites. It's just going to take you more time and you're going to have to put more effort into it. So go to these free sites. Put in... You know, click on recently sold homes or recently sold properties, or if you have a realtor friend, just ask them to do it. Uh, but then you get a list of all the houses in the same area and how much they've sold for and when they've sold. Now, once you have your list of properties that, have, that are in the area, you want to use the properties that are as close to your subject property or the property you're trying to figure out the value for as possible. You want to use properties that are as similar in age, square footage, you know, if, you're, if it's a brick house, you want to compare it to brick houses. Um, if it's three bedrooms, two baths, you want to compare it to other three bedroom, two baths, you know, and, and that type of thing. But you want it to be as close as possible physically, and you also want it to have sold as recently as possible. So if you can get a list of eight or ten sales that have all happened in the last 30 days, a half a mile or less, you're golden. And of course, it doesn't always work that way, but that's, that's in a perfect world, right? So... Now what you're going to do is you're going to take those properties and uh, pretty much, and it's not a perfect science, but pretty much average how much those houses have sold for. And if you've got, let's say you've got 10 of them, and two of them are 50 grand higher and two of them are lower, we, we, we would tend to throw out the, the one or two that are a lot higher, throw out the one or two are low, that are lower, take the seven or eight that are left over that are the same type of houses in the same area, I know I've said that a couple of times, average that out and it's gonna give you a good, pretty good price of how much that house would be worth in like new or move in or after repair value in good condition. Um, now, you know, obviously you're gonna see some that are a whole bunch lower. Usually those are houses that need a lot of work. You might see some that are higher, you know, those that we take with a grain of salt. Um, but a lot of times you, what you might have to do is what we call driving the comps. You'll hop in your car and you'll go look at those houses. Just drive by them and take, it's not hard to do once you've done it a couple of times. Drive by and look at those houses and see the condition that they're in. And, and then you'll get, it's really easy to compare them to your subject property because you know what the subject property looks like. You know what these recently sold properties look like. Now it makes it really easy to figure out how much that property is worth um, within, you know, five, ten thousand bucks or so. Of course, you're always going to price it a little bit high. You're always going to offer a little bit less or, or whatever it might be. So um, <clears throat> and you could also use the square foot method. If the houses are all different or they're all over the board, what you can do is get the ones that are the most similar that have recently sold, figure out how much the average selling price per square foot of all those houses are and then multiply that by how many square feet your property is and that's another way to do it that's using commercial a little bit more than a residential as well you also want to take some time and look at the sale prices look at the houses that are listed for sale in the area um, because even if your cops show that the house is worth 150 but there's 10 houses in the same neighborhood that are very similar houses that are all for sale for 135 and you know that they're going to take less well, your house isn't going to be worth 150 it's going to be worth less. Now, the recently sold houses are much more important, but you do want to look at the houses that are for sale in the neighborhood just to get a good idea of, um, you know, what you're competing with and make your offers based upon a combination of the two. Like I said, it's not an exact science, but after you do it a few times, you get familiar with a different, with a, you get familiar with a market, you get familiar with an area or your farm area, you might call it, you'll know what the houses are worth there. So, um, but read the letter down below. It's a letter that I sent to my daughter. Uh, and if you're, like I said, if you're on YouTube or you're not on my site, go to realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash comps. realestateinvestoronline.com 
forward slash comps, and you can read an, uh, an edited version of the letter that I sent my daughter when she had this question. Um, if you're not a member yet, you're not a free member, go to www.rei tv.com rei-tv.com become a free member we'll let you know whenever we come out with a new tgif which is pretty often uh we'll let you know when we see some I, i'm always i'm looking out for free stuff for you guys um free reports free videos good trading videos i'm always looking for stuff to send out to the rei or the real estate investor online.com family so if you're not a member sign up at rei-tv.com just for signing up you're going to get a few hours of free training stuff We'd really like you to consider joining our mastermind. We talk live two, three times a month. Uh, it's a group of like-minded investors. Uh, I bring in special guests, but at least twice a month, if not more. Typically, it's the first and third Tuesday of the month, um, or it's almost always the first and third Tuesday of the month. Um, we have a topic that we talk about first, and this is all, either you can either listen online or listen by phone. So if you're on the road, in your car, whatever. Um, but twice a month, we have a topic that we talk about first. Sometimes I have a special guest come in and talk about the topic. Then we do an open Q&A. So any questions you have, I'm there for you. I'm there for you to, to answer for you and to help you. You're also going to get plugged right into a special email group where if you have any questions, just send one email. It goes out to the whole group. So everybody throws in their input. You can also help others, get to know others that way, find partners, find investors. You know, it's just a good way. You got to become, you got to network. You got to network. And this puts you into a group of investors nationwide uh, who all have the same aspirations and goals and ideas. And most importantly, you get me to answer all your questions either by email or twice a month live by phone or, on, or online. Yeah, you get two training sessions a month. You get put into a live chat. You get access to a live chat. And sometimes there's people there, sometimes they're not, but you can go in online and type, it's like Skype, you ask questions, sometimes we have discussions there, and there's other stuff you get too. And that's at realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash M-M-I-N-D, realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash M-M-I-N-D. If nothing else, just go back to Real Estate Investor Online once or twice a month, once or twice a week, once or twice a day, and check out, we put two new article, one or two new articles up every day, in the article section. There's dozens of training videos in the video section. There's just a whole lot of good stuff there. So this is Nick. Thanks for listening. This is our Friday the 13th version of TGIF. Did I say version? Version of TGIF. I'm blushing a little bit now. Anyhow, now you know how to get some comps. Now go make an offer.